Bonjour. Bonjour. Welcome, welcome to what is going to become our daily podcast um, titled Baguette Besties, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where we talk about our day, the good, the bad, the awesome parts, everything. So, in Paris, France. Yep. So, in case you haven't seen on anything else, <laughs> We're currently studying abroad in Paris for two weeks. My name is Katie. I'm Avery. Um, and yeah, so today is like our first official day in Paris. Mm -hmm. And we started out with some turbulence on the plane that really scared me. <laughs> so like literally I was trying to fall asleep because these kids behind us were kicking our seats the whole time. The whole time. And I, so I'm like kind of awake, but not really. So um, I hear like the I hear the seatbelt thing go off, and I'm like, oh, like it's fine. And then Katie's like, Avery, Avery, put your seatbelt on. I'm like, okay, like and but I couldn't find my seatbelt because Katie had strapped <laughs> my seatbelt into hers, and then she was on in accident hers. on accident. So so she was asleep for the first half of it, or at least like trying yeah, to sleep. Yeah. So let me tell y'all the first half. So. <laughs> I like cannot go to sleep. There's like two hours and some change left of the second flight, like getting us to Paris. And all of a sudden, just like, like we are like rumbling. Okay, this plane is like rumbling. And the entire, it like the entire plane, as I described it earlier, the peanut gallery, just like all in like, all at once it was like <gasps> like all at the same time and yeah. so obviously that freaks me out and I already like was nervous because like I don't fly a ton in general and so like I don't like turbulence mm -hmm. duh and so then to see everybody else's reaction freaked me out I was already freaked out okay so <laughs> you get the picture well they're like passing out breakfast during <laughs> like breakfast right during this time and if you've ever been on a plane, you know, at the top it'll have, like, the Wi-Fi symbol, the no smoking signal, and then, like, the seatbelt signal. And, um, you know, like, they turn off, like, they flash at different times, like, all that kind of stuff. Well, all of a sudden, the seatbelt one just starts like, flashing like crazy. Like, I've never seen it go that fast. And the person, like, comes over the speaker and they're like, do the turbulence, please remain seated for the rest of the flight and please fasten your seatbelt. And, like, they said it so quick and, like... You could just tell by the tone, and I was like, mm-mm. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm, I'm buckled up, right? And then I'm like, oh my gosh, Avery is, I thought she was asleep. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, Avery, Avery, and I'm like trying to like move her sweatshirt to, or her sweater to see if she has a seatbelt on. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, Avery read the room and could see that I was <laughs> a nervous breakdown. <laughs> nervous wreck. Yeah. And she and was, I was just like. Okay. Like, <laughs> very calm. I was like, I'm going to listen to Katie. Very calm. But I have flown on planes, like, a bunch. So, like, that kind of stuff, like, just doesn't freak me out. Like, it, so I was just like, okay. So, we got through it. We got through it. We but got through we it. we literally have not slept. And, and it's, that, what time was that at? That was like, okay, so that would have been, like, Texas time, like, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. and it's currently 8 8 p.m. here in France and we're seven hours ahead so I'm no mathematician but y'all can do the math it's a long a long time no sleep we've been up for a minute no sleep we had a Red Bull we did I wasn't able to finish mine no because we're jumping ahead because we went to all the luxury brands, like mm -hmm. all of their stores. Mm -hmm. So we had to ditch the Red Bull. Yeah, because it was like in like a mall, but it was like only luxury stores. Prada, Goyard, Louis Vuitton, Montclair, Longchamp, like, you know, everything. everything. And that mall was popping. I'll mm -hmm. say it. I, I never told you this one girl comes up with her mom or grandma some somebody and whoever this parent, parental figure is is like which size and she goes that one she like points at it and she goes okay what color and she goes that one and like 
she just got it. I was like, yeah, I'm I just, She was just like, yep, that's what I want. And I'm like, I don't know how much those bags are. It's the Le Champ bag. The Le Champ one? Mm -hmm. See, I don't know, because I was trying to figure out the prices, because I feel like, okay, and I could be so wrong. I could be so wrong. But the last time that I looked at prices for Le Champ bags, they're like, not as expensive when compared to like other luxury brands mm. but either way we just went there to like window shop we were not like you know what I mean because like no because the thing is like most of these brands are like housed in Paris so they're cheaper here but they're still not like cheap they're cheap right you know like you're still gonna pay like a thousand dollars plus like for you know like a Louis Vuitton duffel. But you know what I mean? They're like, it might be like a few hundred dollars cheaper. Yeah. No, that's crazy. But, <clears throat> but speaking of expensive, was um, we had like aperitivo or whatever. And I was kind of apprehensive. I was like, oh, like, this is kind of a lot. Like, they don't give us like a small portion. And we were recommended this restaurant by one of the girls in our group. And we walked past it, it's like uh, pink and green, and it's jungle themed, so there's like all these leaves, and like on the inside, it's gorgeous. It's like this mood ambient lighting, like green and orange, and there's like vines all over the wall. It's gorgeous, and we're like, okay, we'll give it a try. And when it came out, like, every, like it was so nice, and like mm -hmm. the waiter was so nice. He thought Katie was from England, or I guess like us, but yeah. and, then, and then he was like, England or American? So like, Honey, we all know my accent. Compliment. And so, it was, no, that was literally like, I'm so glad we did that because it was mm -hmm. kind of like a last minute thing. We it were was. kind of tired, but we rallied. We, we rallied. rallied. We rallied. We rallied. It was like 8 p.m. But, but we rallied. Um, but yeah, so we got to, so we landed in Paris at mm -hmm. like, like 6.50 something to like basically 7 a.m. Yes, in the morning, like Paris time. So it would have been like 12 a.m. in um, Texas. But so we like, we go get our luggage, we get our Uber, we get to the hotel. And originally we were told that we weren't going to be able to check in until 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. And we were like, uh, like, what are we going to do? Right. I mean, like, obviously yeah. we could like drop our luggage off and just like go do stuff. But like, you know, after like a long plane, like mm -hmm. we'd been on, like you want to shower, you want to freshen up. And, like, we weren't really going to be able to do that until, like, later in the afternoon. But they were able to get us in. Mm -hmm. What, like, an hour? Yeah, so, like, I took a nap on the couch. Yeah. Because I was so exhausted. So I fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> we got into our room probably a little bit before 9. Yeah. I would yeah, say. Because yeah. we got here, well, I don't know. Somewhere around that time. Should we do a room tour? We should do a room tour. Um, we can do that at the end. Okay. But to be continued. To be continued. Um, <laughs> but the room is so cute. The room, so cute. Worth the wait. Worth all the travel. Like, it was definitely like, or at least for me this morning, I was kind of like, oh, like is it worth all this? Like I'm, this is like a lot. I'm really tired. But then I kind of like remembered. I'm like, okay, like it's you're just really extra tired because it's so different here. Mm -hmm. That, like, your brain, like, can't compute, like, what is going... Like, decisions are so hard to make. Like, we were trying to, like, figure out what to do and, like, where to eat for lunch. And I was just, like... Personally, it was so hard for me to, like, make a decision. And I was just, like, so tired. Mm -hmm. But, like, after... After we, like, settled in and, like, walked around with our group and went to happy hour and uh, dinner, I, like, feel a lot better. But this morning, I was, like, so exhausted. Mm -hmm. But... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, <laughs> so we get in our room, we're, like, we shower, we're unpacking everything, Avery's in the shower, I showered first and Avery's in the shower, <laughs> and I'm unpacking all my stuff, and I'm like, okay, like, I'm gonna charge my phone or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, like, America has different, like, plugs and stuff, right, I knew that, okay, but since, because we studied abroad together last summer in Sicily, and so I had to get converters for that. And y'all, Google told me, Amazon told me, everybody, everybody told me they, but that my converters would work for the French outlets. Well, lo and behold, that was a lie. 
So, lie. So we had what is that store called? FNAC. 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 N A C. Yes, FNAC. Um. <laughs> so, I, so I do a little bit of googling because I'm like. Wait, I have got to get yeah. a converter no. or I've got to get something because I've got like all these different things I gotta charge, yeah. like yeah. you know. And so I found this it's like I don't even know what kind of like it's they sell a bunch of like electronic stuff, mm -hmm. but then they have like um it's like a target. Almost in a way. with no food. No food. No food, no clothing. I don't know. We didn't go upstairs. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. There's no stationary technology. But I'll tell you no. what. I dropped a band on those <laughs> converters. I got two, and it was like 75 euros. Yeah. I'm sorry. But I had to do it because I have to charge everything. So um, we went and did that. And oh, But to get there, oh my lord, y'all. This this is where I lost it in my head. In my mind, I was like, I'm so done. So we walk. Okay, so it's like a 15 minute, it's like a 15 minute walk from our yeah. hotel. And like obviously, when you're traveling to a foreign country, like you're studying abroad, you walk everywhere. Like you don't yeah. have a car. And so we walk out. We literally get all dressed up. We film a little OTD for TikTok. All the things, yeah. right? We're trying to rally. We walk outside. Tsunami, basically. Like winds out of on every direction. Umbrellas inverted. Okay. Inverted. Inverted. Okay. Like raining. It was just not the vibe. I was, we were like, we can't make this. So we. So I like quickly search like Ubers to um, Fnac, and I found one for like eleven dollars, which was like, which I feel like is relatively cheap, fucking Uber. Yeah. And so. We like go back into our hotel. We're like waiting in the lobby, and we're like watching the Uber on the thing. <clears throat> and then like he's like nine hundred feet away, so we go wait outside, and we literally watch him drive by. <laughs> we like literally like, that's it because like we like <laughs> obviously like if you've never used Uber, like it tells you like the car that the person's in, like their license plate and all kind of stuff. We literally. See the car drive right past us. Yeah, we just go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he just kept driving. Mm -hmm. And so then he's like at the destination. He's not. Right. Not. He's, he's not. Right. And so I I message him. I'm like, he passed us, and he's like, no. He he's like, he said, I'm, I'm here. He's like, I'm here. And I was like, no, this is the name of my hotel. You're not here. And then he calls me, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, no, like, I don't want to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, because I knew there was going to be, like, a language issue, mm -hmm. and so he, like, started speaking in English, and then, like, all of a sudden, he's like, get somebody who speaks French, get somebody who speaks French. So I yeah. walk back inside to the lady who's, like, working at the front desk, because she speaks English and French, and I just give her the phone, and I'm like, can you please help me? My Uber, like, can't find this hotel. And he wants to speak to somebody who speaks French. Mm -hmm. They go back and forth for like <laughs> seven you're in, minutes. You're, she was in there for like a hot minute. And I was standing outside, like maybe in hopes that like he would come back. And that did not happen. No. That didn't happen. Um, and so they were going to obviously couldn't tell you a word they said to each other. But <laughs> um, anyway, so then... He's like trying to back up on the street, but there's like cars behind him, and I'm just like, <laughs> and she's like waving him. She's, she's like, like, no, because she literally like it's in the middle of the street, and she's like waving him, like come back, yeah, come back. Yeah. And we're like, it's okay, like we know at this we'll point just we'll, we'll just walk. We'll know we know he's like here, yeah. and and we'll just like walk to him, and then we start walking, and we thought he drove off. Because there was another car, I kid you not, same model, different license plate, same model mm -hmm. that drove off. And, yeah, and Katie was like, he just drove off. And I was like, no, there's no way. I was like, because, like, there was, like, a van blocking, like, his actual car. And I saw, like, the first two letters, like, it was, like, GP or whatever. And I was like, no, like, that's him. And we're, like, peering around this van. And, like, it is him. But it was, like, to me, like... I felt so awkward because 
it was such a commotion and mm -hmm. I don't know what was said. Mm -hmm. So then you're like getting into a car where you don't know if this guy's angry or like, I don't know. It was just, mm -hmm. I just, we sat there in silence until he kept saying, Fnac, Fnac, Fnac. And I was like, no, because yep. we like, so <laughs> we're, like, we're like maybe a minute from, like we can see the Fnac, right? Yeah. And like we both saw it and then, but we're still like a little bit of a drive away. Like, it's a busy street. Yes. Like, you can't busy. just, like, hop out. No, you cannot just, like, hop out of a car. No. But he, like, gets a phone call or something. And then, or some kind of notification. I don't know. And okay. then, all of a sudden, he's like, do you see the FNAC? Do you see the FNAC? The FNAC is right there. Do you see it? And, and we've I'm been like, saying we. Like, we, we have been acknowledging that we have been seeing it. Right, and so I'm thinking, like, I don't say anything, obviously, because, like, he's going to hear it, but I'm thinking on the inside, like, he's about to ask us to hop out of this car. Yeah, literally. But he did pull up to the front. Yeah. Oh, and then my door went unlocked. <laughs> I was trying to pry this door open with my like, little <laughs> acrylic nails, and it wouldn't unlock, and I was like, and so I just, like, jumped over off Katie's side and, like, got mm -hmm. out. But, like... Mm -hmm. And then, and then you like imagine like all of that commotion, and then you walk into a big department store, huge, two story. All of these people Look, are swarming in, three the, story. Yeah, in and out of you. Like, there's so much going on, and like, mm -hmm. like they don't care. They'll just run right into. Yeah, you. couldn't find the converters. Like, it was just like a whole ordeal thing. Like, it was it's so an ordeal, overstimulating. <laughs> but like we. <laughs> we did have fun today. We didn't like no. really have like anything set in stone to do today. Yeah. So I feel like for our further episodes of, of this series, it will be different. Because like yeah. tomorrow, we've got a schedule. We've got to go. Like, like we've we, go, go, we're go, meeting go. at 8. Four, the group is meeting because there's like a whole group of us. Mm -hmm. Meeting at 8.45 in the morning down the lobby and then boom, 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 boom. We're doing things all day. We have like a few breaks for like yeah, not eating, yeah. whatever, but... Today was just like, whatever you want to do. Because, like, people were still, get, like, flying in mm -hmm. and, like, getting here and all that kind of stuff. So, we just happened to get here literally at the crack of dawn. No, literally. But, in spite of, like, all of the, like, issues we ran into today, like, we did, we really did rally. And I'm mm -hmm. proud of us for, like, bouncing back and, like, finding laughter in it. Because mm -hmm. all you have to do is, like, you can only laugh mm -hmm. about it and... Um, we went to this place for dinner, and it's so pretty. It's, like, all these, like, pink flowers on the outside, and it's, like, a lit-up sign. And on the inside, it's, like, a very, like, small restaurant. Like, it is, it's packed. Mm -hmm. And our waitress was so nice, mm -hmm. and, like, I was asking her, like, how to say things in French, and she was just, like, really patient with us. So, I feel like... For me personally, like, I was really nervous about French people being, like, rude and not as patient. And while they're not as patient as people in Italy, they, they are still really nice. Like, the majority of them are fine and nice. It's just the language barrier is more difficult It's here. more prevalent, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, because in Italy, I you could kind of get by with Spanish and it would make sense. And I feel like a lot of them just knew... English. Mm -hmm. like there a was lot. a lot of people that knew English in Italy, and it, and we were in Sicily, yeah. so like we weren't even in like Rome or anything. So, which people still visit Sicily, but like I don't know, it like surprised me mm -hmm. how many people spoke English and like the wellness of that they spoke of it versus like here, like Paris is super visited, right? So mm -hmm. I was kind of expecting a little bit more, but I also do understand like why it's not. Yes. Yeah, like, there's probably people coming from, like, all over the world, so mm -hmm. it, like, makes sense. And, like, I feel like for their society, like, learning a second language is natural, but for us, it's not really ingrained yeah. into us. So, that just stinks. But I feel like we're going to get better. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Overall, though, great day. Yeah, I'm really excited. Like, it was rainy, but I kind of liked it. Like, it's just a different, it's way different vibe. Mm-hmm. But I like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be good. Yes. I'm excited. So, we will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's when, like, things actually start. So, it might be a little bit more interesting. I think it is really interesting, but because we, we have the day, y'all. But we have the day. thank y'all for watching. 
the first episode of Baguette Besties. <laughs> <laughs> where we wear matching sets. Yes. And we we tried the face mask. Okay, but we were gonna get so we did get face we masks did. from some little store here, but y'all they they're sheet, look, they're we, sheet masks. Right, and we were gonna wear them like during because we're like in our PJs, yeah, we're like yeah. on the bed, like you know. What? Yeah. No. That just didn't make the cut. No. So, For reasons that so we'll probably yeah. have under eye patches tomorrow. Yeah. So, Join. Okay. Okay. See y'all tomorrow.